Well, I made a video this morning talking about Masai not willing to rebuild and talking about, you know, hopefully, potentially we'll see a bit of a retool. I did not expect that we would see a retool literally hours after I made the video. The Raptors have traded OG and OB to the New York Knicks. And I'll talk about the full details here of the trade in a second, but just before I fully get into things, you know the usual drill. Make sure you're leaving a like on the video. It helps the channel out a ton. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Plus, if you plan on doing any responsible sports betting in the near future, just make sure to check out my link in the description below. All right, so bear with me. I'm working with the information that I have at the time of this recording. And at the time of this recording, here are the trade details. So the Knicks are trading RJ Barrett, Emmanuel Quickly, and one second round pick to Toronto. And Toronto is sending back OG Ananobi, Precious Achua, and Malachi Flynn to the New York Knicks. So Raptors fans, how are you feeling? Is this the OG Ananobi trade that you envisioned? Because a season ago, a lot of the talks were obviously around like OG potentially hauling in like three to four first round picks obviously we don't get that here but in terms of at least the players back you could talk yourself into this one right because rj barrett like is he the perfect player no is he at least in a similar mold in terms of some of the things that he can do on the court and is he young enough that you can look at him with that upside and go yeah that's a player i like Yes, he is. On top of that, he's also locked in under contract, which depending on what side of it you want to take is a good or a bad thing because that's a big contract. But on the other hand, you know, as the salary cap keeps going up, which it's going to keep going up, I think that contract looks less and less bad by the day. Um, and again, you could argue that RJ could also just have used the change of scenery considering that like obviously Brunson and Julius Randle are the main like mouse to feed in New York and he should receive a little bit more opportunity here in Toronto so that's that's a piece I think you can get reasonably excited about right like I don't think anybody is excited to lose OG Ananobi like OG Ananobi is a talented player quite frankly for a lot of us Raptors fans, he's our favorite player on the Raptors. Realistically, it's him, Barnes, or like Siakam, depending on who you talk to. <laughs> um, but I digress. Yeah, like, you never like losing a player like OG Ananobi, but I think the return here is just not that bad, especially because I haven't even talked about Emmanuel quickly. Like, that's a very exciting player to get back in this deal, right? In particular, because, hey, what have Raptors fans talked about for ages now? <laughs> Well, the point guard position just not being particularly loaded in like in terms of the personnel. Excuse me, I'm, I didn't formulate that as well as I wanted to, but yes, the Raptors needed point guard help. That's what I'm trying to get across here. That's what I'm trying to say. And Emmanuel quickly, you could do a lot worse than adding him to the team, right? Especially because he gives you a really good scoring punch at that position. That's not necessarily something that you had at least throughout this season to this point, right? Like. Dennis Schroeder was, yeah, I mean, like, he could definitely score. Could he do it efficiently? Could he do it, you know, with high IQ shots? That's another discussion, and actually, it's a pretty quick discussion because I would say, no, in a lot of cases, he was making some really bad decisions with the basketball. So, yeah, depending on how you look at it, you either, you know, go back to Schroeder being... A starter and then have quickly as your six man in the role where he has thrived at times obviously with the Knicks or you you know what you can look at quickly and you can go hey man that starting point guard spot that's yours and you can roll out something like a lineup of obviously um, Emmanuel quickly RJ Barrett Scotty Barnes Pascal Siakam and uh, Jakob Pertl there and I think I like the kind of additions here in terms of you know spacing wise you're looking a little bit better now, potentially. I mean, again, OG was a really good shooter. I don't think OG was ever a huge part of the spacing problem, but you get two guys back. Obviously, like, RJ is not a perfect shooter by any means. Like, these guys aren't perfect, but at least, like, it feels like they're trying to make moves to address the problems here um, in that regard in the shooting. And I think more than anything, I like the fact that they were willing to take a risk. Now look, between OG and Pascal Siakam, there's arguments on both sides as to who you wanted to keep. Like, OG obviously fits the Scotty Car Barnes timeline better, but like, Barnes and Siakam is your main duo. And I genuinely think at no point, like, you're looking at them as a duo. I don't think there's a question of whether or not they work as a duo. I think the two players complement each other 
fairly well. I think the issue has always been the roster around them, and I appreciate that the Raptors are willing to try their hand at fixing that roster here. And as for kind of the additional pieces that you're giving up, Malachi Flynn, I mean, respectfully, <laughs> I'm not really gonna talk about it, but like, he's gone, and I'm not losing any amount of sleep over that. And on the other side of it, Precious Achua is a little bit more interesting because, you know, Precious has always been, I guess, like a point for Raptors fans of like, hey, if he really puts it together, like Precious could be something pretty damn good in this league. But I think the kind of problem is with Precious and Chua, he has never really put it together, right? Like he got his opportunities with Nurse and like, and there's times where Precious looked really good and then there's times where Precious looked really bad and would play you out of basketball games. Like let's not beat around the bush with that one. And I think the problem with Precious realistically is his basketball IQ may not be where you want it to be for you know, somebody that you can consistently rely upon in the rotation and it doesn't really seem like his basketball IQ has gotten that much better. Um, like he's always been like a really solid defender, I'll give him that. And at times he's helping you offensively and at times he's really hurting you offensively. So like, does it sting maybe a little bit to also have to include him in that trade package for this deal to get done? Like, yeah, maybe a little bit, but at the same time, I think you can look at the return of RJ and you can look at the return of quickly. You look at two players that, you know, the Raptors didn't want to rebuild. They wanted to retool. You look at that retool and you're just like, yeah, this isn't perfect, but it doesn't sting as bad as I could have in a different scenario. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It's not a bad return. It's not a bad return by any means. And ultimately, I think Raptors fans are seeing this news and going, yeah, all right. But if you disagree with me, uh, comment section is right there. Drop it in the comment section below. <laughs> Give me your thoughts on the OG and an OB trade. How do you feel? Do you like what the Raptors did in terms of retooling? Do you wish they would have taken a more future centric approach with it and traded for draft capital? Um, let me know whatever thoughts you have in the comments. Yeah, other than that, folks, it's pretty much been the video. So usual drill at the end. Um, like the video, it does help the algorithm out a ton. And, you know, as somebody that was finally finishing up like everything from like the first video in terms of the shorts and stuff, that like, like would go a long way. So thank you if you hit it. <laughs> Subscribe if you're new here. Yeah, it's been JJ Buckets. It's been a pleasure. I hope you enjoyed my rambling. <laughs> and that's been today's video. I will see everybody next time.